We call her Nessie after the Loch Ness Monster. She's not much to look at, but she can really cut some cane. Here you can see the harvester is lined up and starting to cut three rows of cane. This sorghum was planted on 30 inch rows. The first contact with the plant is by the reel, which pulls the grain panicles into the grain header. A split second later, the bottom of the cane is cut by the cane header and fed into a conveyor mechanism within the belly of old Nessie. She cuts the cane into 12 inch billets, which are carried up the conveyor and dumped into the dump wagon, which is pulled by the tractor. Now you can see the three rows of cane are cut and fed into the header. The sweet sorghum stalks are then passed through the feed roller and onto the conveyor. Next they travel through the cutter where they're cut into 12 inch pieces or billets. The billets travel up the conveyor and are dropped into the dump wagon. Some of the leaves are blown off by the wind prior to entering the dump wagon. Here you can see the grain heads being pulled into the cutting bar by the reel. Their necks sucked into the blower and shot out at high velocity. They travel back through this pipe to the cyclone. Here we've disconnected the pipe for demonstration purposes. Notice how the grain shoots out of the pipe. The grain and plant tops are blown into the grain cyclone at high velocity where the vortex further separates the grain from the stalks. Notice the swirling plant heads and grain as they exit from the cyclone. Even without straw walkers or seed cleaners, there is remarkably good separation of the grain by using just a screen. The schematic shows how the straw walkers will clean the grain on version 2.0. Now we dump the cane. Yeehaw! Even though it's late in the season, the cane is still quite green beneath the brown leaves. Fortunately, we have automated cane handling equipment, not. Cane processing is our new bottleneck. Everything is manual. The cane slides down the chute into this horizontal entry cane mill. This mill is capable of handling about one ton of cane per hour. This is the bag S coming out of the mill. The sugar juice passes through a screen before being transferred into 50 gallon barrels. Before we had this harvester, it took eight hours to fill one 50 gallon barrel and the grain was left in the field. On this day, we collected two bushels of grain and filled three 50 gallon barrels in only three hours.